Number two, look for the right timing. Look for the right timing. This is months later, as I told you, at the end of 2 Samuel chapter 12, and I hope you'll read the rest of it later on today. The baby is gonna be born. The baby's gonna die on the seventh day. So this is months later from David and Bathsheba having sex that this happens. Now, God's been waiting on David to confess his sin. And David has not chosen over these months to confess his sin. Psalm 32, verse three and four, written about this section of David's life. David says, when I kept silent about my sin, my body wasted away through all my groaning all day long. For day and night, your hand was heavy on me. My vitality was drained away as with the feverish heat of the summer. Secrets make you sick. And so in this moment, he's got this place that he needs to confess, he needs to get it off. But for months and months, he's killed Uriah, he's done all this stuff, and he's just hoping it just goes away, goes away, goes away, until finally God sends Nathan, and God's like, okay, I've given you months and months and months. Nathan, enter stage left. Here's the situation, here's the fable, you're the man. One commentator said this, God let the grinding wheels of sin do their full work, then he stepped in. Don Constable, another commentator said, in confronting someone in their sin, the timing is as important as the wording. Simply to tighten your belt, grab your Bible, and at your convenience, confront a person who is in sin is unwise. You must be sent by God, just as Nathan was. There is proper timing. Have you learned that in your marriage? There's proper timing to have that difficult conversation. Ladies, I just want you to know, just free of charge, when there's two minutes left in a tied football game, that is not the right timing to have any kind of conversation, okay? So when you walk in and you say, can I ask you something? Absolutely not is the answer, okay? So, and guys, we got the reverse with the ladies as well, right? There's the right timing. I had a friend, they said this. I thought this was wise. They said, we never have a serious conversation after 9 p.m., we never have a serious conversation in our marriage after 9 p.m. Why? Because no, everybody's tired. Everybody's in, in what uh, Carrie Newhoff calls the red zone. Green zone's when you're really at your best. Red zone's when you're at your worst. Don't have a big fight in your red zone. Don't have a big conversation in your red zone. You're just asking for trouble. Pick the right timing with your kids. Pick the right timing with your spouse. Pick the right timing with your, with your boss. Pick the right timing with whoever it is to have that difficult conversation at whatever level. Nathan picks the right timing. God sends him in at the right time. Proverbs 25, verse 11 says, like apples in settings, like apples of gold in settings of silver is a word spoken at the proper time. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.